Hello! This video tutorial will provide you with a walkthrough of the SoundSeed Impact WISE plugin. Note that this tutorial assumes that you have working knowledge of WISE and the SoundSeed Impact Modeler. Be sure to view the available video tutorials on these topics if you require more detailed information. This video tutorial also references the SoundSeed Impact sample project that is available for download from our website. Let's start by taking a look at how this plugin fits into the SoundSeed Impact workflow. As you will already know from watching the SoundSeed Impact modeling tutorial, the modeler extracts resonance information from a sound and stores it as a series of parameter values. The two files that are generated during the modeling process are the residual wave file that contains only the noisy portion of the original sound and the model data file that contains the resonant mode information. The residual file is imported into WISE as a regular sound object. The SoundSeed Impact plugin is then applied to the residual sound object as an audio effect. The model data file is then loaded into the effect where the resonance information is transformed using a series of properties. The effect plugin plays the residual sound with the transformed resonance data applied at runtime to create the variations of the original sound. The workflow for using the SoundSeed Impact WISE plugin is as follows. First, you need to import the residual sound created in the SoundSeed Impact Modeler into WISE. You can do this by dragging the WAV file directly into WISE. WISE automatically creates a new corresponding sound object. We now want to add the SoundSeed Impact effect to the residual sound object. To do so, double-click the sound object to load it into the Property Editor. Switch to the Effects tab and then insert a SoundSeed Impact audio effect on the sound object. Double-click the effect to open the SoundSeed Impact Effect Property Editor. You will notice that the effect is not automatically associated with a model file, so we will have to load one. For our example, we will want to load the data model file associated with the Sword Shield residual sound we imported earlier. It is important to note that the modeler saves the model data as a .ssm file. To load the file, click the Browse button and locate the data model file. Drag and drop is also supported, so let's simply do that. As soon as the model data file is loaded, it is automatically applied to the residual sound, so let's play it back to hear the SoundSeed impact synthesis in real time. If we look at the SoundSeed Impact WISE plugin, you will notice that it contains a series of properties. These properties control the frequency, bandwidth, and magnitude of the resonance modes within our model file. By transforming the resonance modes, we can create very specific or totally random transformations, resulting in unlimited playback variations from a single source file. The transformation parameters can be controlled in real-time via real-time parameter controls, allowing you to change the characteristics of your synthesized sounds based on the context of the game. Let's now take a closer look at each of these transformation properties by using the SoundSeed Sample Project. Here we can hear the effects of frequency stretching transformations. We have mapped an RTPC to the frequency stretching parameter of the SoundSeed plugin. Now, by playing the plastic bottle residual sound and moving the plastic bottle frequency RTPC, we can affect the perceived size of the plastic bottle quite substantially without pitch shifting artifacts or file length duration changes. Let's listen.
Now, let's hear the effects of bandwidth stretching transformations. We have mapped an RTPC to the bandwidth stretching parameter of the SoundSeed plugin. Now, by playing the metal hit residual sound and moving the metal hit resonance RTPC, we can control the perceived resonance or damping of the resonating metal. Let's listen. Finally, let's hear the effects of magnitude scaling. Again, we have mapped an RTPC to the magnitude scaling transformation parameter of the SoundSeed plugin. Now, by playing the machinery residual sound and by moving the machinery magnitude control RTPC, we can control the weight or strike position of the metal being hit. Let's listen. The variation parameter allows for a range of randomness to be applied to the synthesis transformation parameters. This allows for controlled random transformation parameters to be selected and used at each playback, providing unlimited sound variations from a single source file. Let's listen to the sword hit example and notice the transformation variations at playback. An important element is the ability to control the performance of sound seed impact at runtime by directly controlling the number of resonance modes used. The quality slider allows the CPU consumption of the synthesis to be fine-tuned by the sound designer or controlled automatically via a real-time parameter control determined by a given game context. The goal here is to find the right balance between audio quality and CPU usage while respecting the requirements of the game. Now that you have a basic idea of what is involved in using the SoundSeed Impact plugin, let's take a look at a few more examples. All of these examples can be found in the Y SoundSeed sample project. We strongly encourage you to download the project from our website and experiment with the different sounds. Let's listen to the following sound variations, and remember that all of these playback variations are created using a single wave source file. Plastic Hits Wood Bounces Metal on wood bounces. Golf hits. Sword shield hits. Punches. That's it! You are now ready to create the sound variations for your game using SoundSeed Impact. For further information about transforming resonant mode parameters in WISE, refer to the SoundSeed Impact Effect Plugin Help.